Hey, good Sam, this is Pastor Jed, and I've got big news to announce. This Sunday, February 21st, we are reopening our campus. We are reopening our worship service. We are inviting everyone to come back and to be together as a Good Sam family. We're really excited about this day. The first service is going to begin at 9 a.m. and it will go to 10.15. The second service will begin at 10.45 and will end at noon. We have a lot of new things to discuss. We want you to have a great experience as you come back, as you worship God, as you give your best, as you listen, as you grow, as you apply God's Word. So come on in. Let's talk about some details. Come on in. As we regather for worship, there are some things that are going to be changing. There are some things that will not be changing. What will not be changing is the good Sam heart. The heart that we have for God, the heart that we have for us, others. We are committed to loving our neighbor as ourself. And so that is what is leading every decision. As we gather, we want to let you know what to expect. And so as you come to worship, we would ask that you would bring a mask. If you don't have a mask, we will give you a mask. That you would be prepared to have your temperature taken. As you can see, the doors are wide open. We're looking to increase air circulation in every way that we can. And we're looking to decrease all the places that we would put our hands and leave our germs. And so, come on in, we're going to talk a little bit more about what's going to happen on the inside. On Sunday, this is the place where we're going to end up, in the sanctuary, together as a church, worshiping God, loving God, and loving each other. For the first service, we have crafted this service, and we are thinking about the people in our congregation that are high risk. And so masks are going to be required for this service. They're going to be required at all times. If your mask slips off, then one of our ushers will come alongside you and just ask you to make sure that you have your mask on. Again, it's a way that we can love and care for each other. After the first service, our ushers are going to be asking you to step out of the sanctuary because we have a new service team. We have a clean team. They will be going through the sanctuary. They will be picking up bulletins, but they will be wiping down all of our surfaces. They will be spraying all of the chairs with disinfectant. They are going to be getting ready for the next service. With the second service, Masks, again, are required, but if you're sitting and you're socially distanced and you need to take it off for a brief moment, uh, we're going to try to create as much time and space for you to worship as comfortably as you possibly can. We also want to let you know that we are live streaming our service. We are going to live stream the first service, and if you missed that opportunity, I want you to know that you can go back and you can re-watch it at 1045 or whenever you would like to. We also wanted to let you know that as we are moving forward as a church, our commitment is that we would move forward together in unity. A third of our church has said we would prefer to be together online. We will stay with the live stream option. A third of our church has said we want to be together in the first service and we appreciate you creating space for us. And a third of you have said we're going to be at the second service. And so if you're online or at the first service or the second service, we just want to welcome you. And we want to enforce that we as a church are coming together as a body. We are taking steps together to follow Jesus in unity. That's the goal, that we would love God and that we would love each other, that we would love our community. Ultimately, you're going to know which service you feel most comfortable with, and we support whatever decision you make. Again, I love the way that you are showing up in the middle of this very challenging, very confusing, very long pandemic. God is doing something. He's growing our faith. He's growing our love. He's growing the opportunity we have to reach out to others. And so thank you for being that kind of a church. Blessings.